The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Well, good morning, AFTA members, and thank you very much for joining us today. We're changing pace a little bit, and we're moving away from our um, usual type of webinar. And today we have AFTA's destination partner with us. And this webinar will be focused around Dubai. What a wonderful destination. To deliver the content today, I have with me Julie King and Cherie, who are both from Julie King and Associates and are representing Dubai Tourism. They look after their training needs for Dubai Tourism in the Australian market. You'll notice that you're all in listen-only mode. However, please uh, use the toolbox to ask any questions that you might have. And um, I'll hand over to Julie and Cherie now, but come back at the end to help facilitate some questions. So welcome, ladies. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Um, on behalf of Dubai Tourism, I want to thank you for giving us your time today in the challenging and unprecedented times we're all facing as we work towards what will be the new normal for travel. Today, we really want to express our deepest appreciation for the loyalty of our partners and the confidence that you've placed in us over the years. As you continue to promote Dubai as a must-visit destination for your clients, so thank you. Whilst we all remain in today's remote learning environment, it's really important for us to stay connected to you and therefore we've developed this webinar to take you through the tools we have available that showcase the city's offerings, helping you to use this time to get familiar with our evolving portfolio. As the destination partner for AFTA, we'd like to give you an update on our series of webinars that we'll be conducting and on what Dubai is working towards post COVID-19. This will allow you to reassure your clients that the city will be prepared and ready for visitors when the world becomes safer for us all to travel. Some of you may have listened to On Dubai Tourism's LinkedIn page to the interview our Director General, His Excellency Halal Almari, conducted with Bloomberg recently. I will provide you with a short synopsis of the outcome of this interview on Dubai's position for your reference. Dubai has a strong track record, as we know, in agility and ability to react to market changes. As a city, we respond collectively with the whole ecosystem, taking the time and effort to get it right, to welcome the world back to our destination. As part of this, workshops are regularly being held with the tourism sector, and it's Dubai's aim to make sure all aspects of the city are fully aligned and well prepared to receive tourists as soon as air travel opens. Similar to Australia, Dubai has a three-phase plan for recovery. The first phase, phase, which they call the pause phase, is where we are today and Dubai's immediate focus is ensuring that the government relief program put in place by the federal and Dubai government to support travel, tourism and all related sectors is swiftly executed. In the second phase, Dubai will prepare to welcome limited travel from this autumn, which is Australia's spring, as they gradually reopen sectors and markets. This approach to reopening travel, however, is a global question given many airports and airspaces remain closed. So they are working with all relevant bilateral organisations to have a coordinated approach to opening up. Priority remains safeguarding the well-being of our guests and our people, and we're working with Emirates, Fly Dubai, airline partners and relevant authorities to support the planned reopening of routes. Emirates, as you know, has started taking bookings from the 1st of July. We're confident that once we enter the final phase of global reopening, Dubai will be ideally suited to deliver the exceptional customer service in this new normal of tourism. In the meantime, Dubai authorities are diligently monitoring and continuously adapting their response protocols to align with the latest guidance from the World Health Organization so that the city can continue to successfully contain outbreak risk within our communities for both residents and visitors. There are a number of sources that are available to you to receive updates within Dubai from the Dubai Health Authority website, the Dubai Media Office website, the Ministry of Health and Prevention website, Emirates and our Visit Dubai website. Over the next few months, as Joe has mentioned, we will, book, we will be tailoring, based on the requirements you advise us today, a series of webinars to deep dive into travel segments and what Dubai offers to these. Please do advise us in the question toolbox your suggestions so we can commence planning these. 
We will be monitoring your questions during the webinar, so add questions at any time, and then we'll, uh, we'll answer as many as we can at the end of the session. I'll hand you over to my colleague, now Cherie, who will take you through some of the tools available for you in this period to, to better educate yourself and your teams on Dubai. Thank you. Thanks, Julie. Uh, welcome, everybody. And thank you for taking the time uh, this morning uh, to listen in. I wanted to update you firstly on a, a few uh, mini campaigns that Dubai Tourism has produced. And the first one being is uh, basically the campaign Till We Meet Again. So this campaign message tells you a story that Dubai is home to millions of people from hundreds of countries uh, around the world. But right now, like uh, many of us, um, as a destination, we have to slow down, take a breath and take a moment to pause. There will be a time, of course, where Dubai will continue to thrive. It will become again the buzz, the energy, the culture and the history, um, also the ambition and the progress um, and the compassion and tolerance that the destination continues to have. But when we can all travel again, which hopefully will be soon, uh, Dubai will be ready for everyone. But until then, the message is to stay home and stay safe. There's also various segments of this campaign uh, that have been produced with shorter videos, which you can actually see on the Visit Dubai Instagram and Facebook pages as well. But I'll quickly show you uh, the campaign. So it's also got subtitles as well, so you can see um, what the key messaging is here. Okay, sorry about that technical glitch. Okay, let's get back on track. So the second campaign I want to talk to you about is a story that takes flight. So basically discovering uh, Dubai through their own eyes. Um, we have produced a campaign that is using celebrity influencers, which tells a story um, through their eyes. So we've got Zoe, Kate and Gwyneth, who each have a different experience. So you can watch their individual stories unfold and how they meet up with each other at the end of the day to share their experiences. Zoe actually has a true Bedouin heritage experience in the desert and also visits uh, the Dubai Frame, which is located in Seville Park. Kate explores the Al Fahidi district, which is previously known as the area of Bur Dubai, um, which is here where you'll find tons of culture, artists, designers, uh, studios, galleries around town, as well as local restaurants and cafes. Gwyneth explores the uh, spice suits in Dira, and also she chats to the local people and discovers some hidden gems around the area. So if you get time, um, please have a listen. It's on the Visit Dubai web, web page and it actually gives you yeah, some great, I guess, insights to how they just um, discover the city as well. What I wanted to touch base on now was the trade tools. So this is a great source of information for you to use uh, for yourselves and clients. Um, the information will be, you know, obviously updated from time to time whenever there's new experiences or attractions that um, open in the destination as well. So firstly, on the on the homepage of the Visit Dubai page, you'll actually see there's a travel planning section, um, which allows you to go into multiple travel tools. The first one I wanted to talk about was the visa um, and entry. This will allow you to select the country of the passport holder 
and it will advise you on the visa requirements, whether it's on arrival for these, like the Australians, um, or whether it's pre-arranged, which in most cases can be done online. And the great thing is if, if your customers are traveling on Emirates, you can do this via the managed booking page on emirates.com as well. Another great, um, I guess, planning tool here is walking in Dubai. I think a lot of people think that, you know, most people get around by taxis and Ubers and things like that. But the great thing is we do have a lot of walking tours, um, whether it be the interest of heritage, uh, urban art, um, a foodies walking tour as well. To give you an example, we've got a, a beautiful um, historical uh, walking tour in El Fahidi. And this may just be because your client wants to leave the hustle and bustle of the downtown Dubai and discover Dubai's rich history and, and visit El Fahidi, which is situated along the Dubai Creek. Um, it was once, I guess, the epicenter of the city life in Dubai as well. So it's a place where you can stroll along the creek, um, go through all the hidden alleyways and really discover more about this, the city's history. Uh, you can also visit the iconic Arabian Tea House for a beautiful local meal, uh, visit the contemporary art galleries and also the museums, which offer a glimpse of um, Dubai's ancient roots as well. Secondly, in terms of transport in Dubai, we get often asked, you know, what's the best way to get around the city? And it really depends on one, where your client's located um, and their ability to move around and things like that. So there's various options. The obvious one being uh, taxis or Ubers. Um, the great thing about this is it's really reasonably priced in Dubai compared to what we pay here in Australia. So that's a, a very common way of getting um, around the city. The other one is the Metro, which is um, a great uh, option to avoid any peak hour traffic as well. It's fully automated driverless uh, rail system and there's two lines of the Metro and you can actually take it right from the airport through the middle of um, Dubai city as well. And again, really cheap in terms of, you know, a day pass um, or point to point tickets as well. The other form is the um, Palm monorail. So this is a great option for people wanting to get onto the Palm other than taking a taxi or an Uber. So it actually runs from the trunk of the Palm right through to the iconic Atlantis, um, the Palm Hotel as well. We do have local buses in the city, so which you can take around to um, the major sites and malls, but we also have the popular hop on hop off bus tour as well, which you can book. Uh, so your clients can you know, travel at their own leisure and, and visit all the main tourist attractions as well. Uh, one of the great ways to, to actually see Dubai by water is to take an Abra uh, boat ride across the creek. So you can actually go from Deera over to El Fahidi or vice versa. And it's the quickest option as well. So it avoids that traffic as well. Uh, we also have the ferries and water taxis um, to get around also. And then lastly, in terms of uh, cycling around Dubai, it's become increasingly popular in the city, I guess, as you know, cycling paths and walking paths have opened. So you can easily uh, rent a bike curbside as well. So that just gives you a few options in terms of getting around the city in itself. One thing I wanted to point out um, specifically was the Dubai itineraries. Um, these, uh, on this page here, you can see some great examples. So it'll offer you itineraries for a suggested two day stopover, uh, a five day must see, which will cover all the main tourist attractions for first time visitors. There's gourmet Dubai. So anyone that's interested in gastronomy, this is perfect for them. Yep, of course, your family, your golfing and your wellness itineraries as well. The great thing about these is you can actually download the example itineraries, which will be emailed directly to you as well. Um, so it gives you a great idea to build up those itineraries for your customers. And you also have the ability to build a trip planner, um, which is great. So you can actually store that um, and build that trip planner for your client as well. The next tool is the interactive map. This is fantastic because it actually allows you to click on certain icons throughout the city of Dubai and it will allow you to actually see some further information. So you'll see here the example I use is the Palm Jumeirah. Once you click on that purple icon, it will actually show you some further information about the Palm. It will give you a bit of a blurb about how it's the you know, iconic man-made island. And then it will also allow you to see that blue box there to add to the trip planner as well. So if that's something that your clients are interested in seeing or if that's where they're staying, um, then you can add that to the trip planner also. You can download maps as well from this area. And you can also search for, you know, your must see attractions, um, whether people are interested in, in, you know, adventure or the heritage and culture of Dubai. So you can actually search for a lot um, of different um, areas and activities as well. So another great tool for, for yourself to actually discover the city and see what's new also in this area. 
In terms of Dubai apps, we've got two great apps for yourselves and for your clients to download. Um, the best thing about them is they are free, of course. So the first one is the Visit Dubai app. So this one is basically all the information that you can find on the website, which is uh, loaded into the app. It's a great reference for when you're in the destination, uh, for clients and yourselves to access while on the go. Um, in Dubai, we're fortunate enough to have a lot of free Wi-Fi around the city. So it's also great um, to let them know that as well. So when they're traveling out and about, they'll always generally have access to some, some Wi-Fi as well us of course in their hotels. So um, this app will also show them obviously the activities, um, the food, the shopping and the culture as well. The second app which may not be as familiar with everybody is the Dubai Calendar app. So this is fantastic for anyone that's heading to Dubai or, or for yourself to reference if they're heading to Dubai. To Dubai. It will show them, um, I guess, you know, concerts, festivals with all the international artists that come and go from Dubai. In terms of theatre, we've got the beautiful Dubai Opera House, which is at the back of the Dubai Mall, um, or also the La Pearl um, Aqua Theatre Show, which is, um, you know, like a Cirque du Soleil style um, as well. So various exhibitions which we hold in the destination, whether it be, you know, the arts, the wellness, um, boating, et cetera, that will all be on, on the app as well. And of course, all the major sporting events um, in Dubai, whether it's the Emirates Rugby Sevens, um, the Dubai World Cup, the PGA, the tennis, so lots of um, updates in terms of any any new um, events coming in as well. So yeah, two great free apps to download. Stop focus in Dubai. Now this is um, a question we get asked often: is how long should um, you know a client stop in Dubai? And I guess it depends if it's their first or second or third visit as well. Generally, if it's a first time visitor um, to get a to get a I guess a good look around Dubai, we would say you know. A minimum of three nights. Um, this is purely because, you know, if they're staying in one area in particular, if they're downtown, then majority of activities I'll probably see are around that area and there's just so much more to explore. So ideally if they could do a stop on the outbound and the inbound would be perfect um, in that sense to give them, you know, a different taste of Dubai. In terms of stopovers, obviously ideal all year round. Um, the great thing in the summertime is that a lot of the hotels have discounted rates as well, which you'll notice, um, you know, for your, you know, especially for your uh, five-star properties in the on the Palm or Jumeirah Beach, um, downtown as well, you can get some some great um, lead-in prices there. In this page as well, uh, you uh, have online itineraries available as well. So you can again search for, you know, you know, your 72 hours in Dubai or you know your five days in Dubai as well. And it also show you a lot of free things to do or low cost activities in the destination. Um, the museums and art galleries, I mean, for entry for, for these places are anywhere from like, you know, three to five dirhams. Um, the Abra boat right across the creek, um, exploring the soups and the cultural area, the heritage side of Dubai as well. The fountain show, which is obviously free for people to view every, every evening as well at the back of Dubai Mall. And just eating at local and affordable cafes and restaurants as well. There's, you, don't, you don't always have to eat, um, you know, at your five um, star hotels or, you know, your Michelin star restaurants and things like that. So lots of affordability around, around the city. Uh, there's a light and sound show at Festival City in Dubai. And of course, you know, you're cycling or taking the Dubai Metro as well, which is, um, which is relatively cheap um, compared to our public transport system as well. So a lot of um, great options there in terms of stopovers. You can also, once you're actually in this area, you can actually click on areas of Dubai. So it'll offer you whether you want to, uh, your clients to stay in downtown, Old Town, Jumeirah, say Marina or the um, Jumeirah Beach residence area. So this will allow you to drill down into further information on each area. And you can actually find some recommendations in terms of top tips. Um, for example, if you select Old Town Dubai, you'll see recommendations for dining, shopping and hotels in this area as well. I also wanted to quickly mention why we're on stopovers is um, the new Dubai stopover program um, called DEX uh, through, um, you know, through the Emirates stopover program. I know some of you would have already heard about this through your Emirates reps or had the opportunity to attend uh, one of the training workshops um, just at the beginning of March. Um, so unfortunately these workshops were cut short due to COVID. So we will actually run a separate webinar to cover this in more detail with either someone from Jex or Emirates um, to give you further information on this as well. 
Now, Dubai Expert, some of you may have um, already registered or, and as have played the game. It's um, really a unique, fun, interactive online training tool, um, which is really designed to, to actually increase your knowledge um, and best way of to sell the destination. Um, it is a gamification and it does work best on Chrome or Firefox browsers, but do allow it to take, you know, one to five minutes in terms to download because it is quite heavy in the back end. So, yeah, give it a couple of minutes and it should um, be fine from there on in. So you just need to register to actually play the game. Um, you'll be able to learn more about key attractions, build itineraries for customers as well, and also, I guess, learn about um, the type of visitors and why they want to visit Dubai, and I guess what's most suitable for them when they're in the destination as well. So just to show you here, the Dubai Expert game itself is you'll be allocated to um, selected mission profiles. So in this example here, our mission profile is a family with teenagers and they're in um, experiences want to be around entertainment and they're doing a short stay, so like for say uh, two nights in Dubai as well. So basically what you'll do is you'll see at the bottom, there's a selection of uh, three videos, which you'll need to watch as well, because that will obviously uh, increase your, your points and your scores. Um, and then you'll be asked to select accommodation which is suited to this profile. So whether it be the location or the star rating of the hotel as well. You're dealt like a deck of cards, so it is similar to a card game. And this is where you will select the attraction that is suitable for your mission profile, which is the family with teenagers as well. So you can then also flip the cards, which gives you a bit of like a cheat sheet which will allow you to see on the back of the card who it actually suits. So for this example, the Emirati cuisine, you'll see that it suits the singles, mature couple, young family and family with teens, which is the exact mission profile that, um, that you're actually trying to achieve. So you can also print out these cards as well because they do have information on, on the attraction or experience. There will be bonus cards and extra points that um, will be available when you answered, like a little pop-up will come up with timed questions on your screen so you can earn your bonus points that way. Why um, should you play the game? I guess it's to improve your knowledge of Dubai, learning about key attractions and how you can build various itineraries. And it's also to learn about various types of visitors. And I guess they're, you know, what motivates them to visit Dubai and what their interests are. Uh, it will include your, you know, awareness of annual events and festivals that we have in the city and also enjoying benefits like future incentives or familial trips as well. And of course, you'll get your Dubai Expert Certificate. In order to become a Dubai Expert, um, you are required to complete 20 missions and also watch the uh, 25 expert videos as well. Next one I want to talk to you about is the Dubai 360. So, this is actually a great virtual um, experience of Dubai. So you can actually visit hotels, attractions, um, areas of Dubai, the iconic landmarks as well. There's um, an information tab which I'll show you and you can view it in different modes as well. Um, and the great thing is you can actually share links um, with your clients as well. So it's a, just a great area to be able to explore uh, the city. I'm gonna jump out now and show you hopefully live. Okay, sorry. Here we are here. So this is basically the Dubai 360. So I'll try and move pretty slowly so I don't give you all vertigo when I'm going through. But you'll see here at the moment we've got the Atlantis de Palm. And then so you can actually click on any of these icons. So here you'll see it'll take us to the, um, the famous iconic uh, bridge suite um, in Atlantis. And if you click on over here, you'll see the one and only uh, hotel as well. So for example, if we just click on to the Atlantis the bridge suite. It will then take us into the various rooms of the bridge suite. So you can see here we can go into um, the billiard room, we can go into certain bedrooms or suites. If you sort of move over to the to the right hand side, hopefully I'm going slow enough for you to see, then you'll see other rooms as well which is located like the bedroom two and if we click on there it'll take you right into the room and you can maneuver around to see inside the suite, which is pretty amazing. And then you can click on to go out into the hallway. And again, you can move around to see inside the suite. If you wanna go back to the home page, you just simply click up to the Dubai 360 logo.
what I want to do then is show you. Here we can search. So for example, I want to show you the Dubai frame, which is one of the new attractions. And here we've got 18 results found. So we can actually see all the 360 views of Dubai frame. And again, we can move up to the top of the frame. Both of the sides of the frame are lift well, so you can go up to the top. And if we click on here, we will take us to the sky deck, where you can actually see some fantastic views of the city. So this is your viewing deck here. And if you look down, you can actually see below. So those of you that are not great with heights, stick to the outsides, I'd say. So this just gives you a great, um, I guess, view of, you know, different aspects, aerial, you know, vision of Dubai as well. There's actually an information tab which you can also um, uh, basically click onto. Um, so here we can click on the info which tells you about the Dubai frame as well. And also just to let you know, you can actually do different views as well. So if you want the fisheye view, which will give you, again, a different look. Um, of the attraction as well. So yeah, great to play around with and you should be able to send some, some links to your clients as well. Okay. And then lastly, what I wanted to talk to you about was the Dubai assets. So you can actually create your own account and it's instant approval. The great thing about the assets is it gives you um, access to videos and also photos, so image libraries, which you can uh, use based on your client's interests and demographics. You can actually uh, also access our brand guidelines, which you can reference when you're advertising uh, through your social media channels, uh, EDMs, online and in store. So to give you an example, what it looks like once you've registered and signed in. You'll see there's different pillars here. So for example, you can uh, see various assets, including top attractions, um, kids and families, uh, also adventure, heritage, um, arts and culture, anyone that's traveling for business as well. So lots of great pillars that you can actually choose from. When you've actually clicked on one of the pillars, for example, you'll see here the desert and nature, you'll see various images which you can actually download and use. So there's a lot in the, in the gallery, you can actually search as well for certain um, topics or interests. And then you see here, once you click on one of the images, it does allow you to download it, whether you, depending if you want it to be, you know, the original size or small or medium large, or you can download them all. So yes, yeah, it's, it's basically a great opportunity for you to advertise um, in store and through your clients if there's anything, you know, new and upcoming in the destination that you want to send out to, to your customers, if you know that they're doing, you know, a stopover to Europe and so forth. In terms of available assets, this is just some quick links as well for you um, to be able to access, of course, the Visit Dubai web, web page with all the information, um, the Dubai Expert uh, training program, and also the asset collection as well. Um, the Dubai 360, and of course, if you're looking for any pocket guides and maps, um, but please let us know in terms of um, through your, you, through your Q&As if you uh, want further access to these links or if you don't have time to um, write them down throughout this presentation. But I do wanna say um, a big thank you uh, for your time today. And we hope that you can take away some of this useful information um, and the tools when selling a device stopover to your clients. Uh, we really appreciate your ongoing support of the destination as well. Um, and as mentioned by Julie, we will be running a series of webinars with AFTA. So please, if you haven't already, let us know in terms of uh, any segments that you'd like us to cover in more detail as well. And um, now we will open up to some Q&As. Um, so please don't be shy and ask any questions, but I will go back to the page so you can actually um, write down those links if you need to as well. Great, Sheree. Well, that was really fantastic. I just love the Dubai Expert Program. I just love the gamification it's aspect of it. It's really fun. So I've just got a couple of people quite keen to see those links, Sheree. 
Yeah, sure. No worries. I think my screen, let me have a look here. Why have we? I think you've gone back to the, oh, there we go. There we go. Perfect. So I'm just going to have a look at a couple of questions. Oh, I think um, I think I might be hearing a um, dog snoring, Julie. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a laugh before because Julie, um, Julie's dog's allowed to the office, which is beautiful, um, and I think he's a loud snorer, isn't he, Julie? Uh, well, he's a little West Highland Terrier, so when he when he sleeps. <laughs> Does snore a bit like sometimes. <laughs> so, forgive me if that does happen, but um, hopefully he won't. No worries. Is there questions that have come up that we can answer in in the meantime? We have a lot of uh, thank you and very informative, and just a couple of questions. The first one is from Sandy, who's just wondering about what the little green diamond represents, and I think that's referring to the Dubai Expert Program. Uh, the the, um, the diamond basically in terms of the game, it just shows you how many points that you're able to score. And there's also a little section up there as well, which will show you, um, which I don't have, have a screen grab of, unfortunately, which will show you how many um, you actually, in terms of, you know, your cards that are, get, that are dealt to you. And depending on what you select out of those cards, you can actually reshuffle as well. So the diamonds will actually give you more opportunities throughout the game as well. So, um, yeah. It's, it's it's quite it's it's so interactive and so fun like Joe said so if you can really sign up and 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 get through a few of the um, the actual missions um, it really you know shows you further into the destination and, and just things that you probably wouldn't think of as well um, to you know to suggest to your clients so but if you need any further information on it please please let us know we're happy to to set you up and get you going great. Oh, so sorry. That's obviously my doorbell. That's the pleasure of working remotely. Uh, can you talk a little bit? Ab sorry, sorry, everyone. Can you talk a little bit more about the current stopover program and perhaps some suggestions for one to two nights to spend in Dubai? Cherie, do you want to take that one over? Yeah, yeah, sure. I guess in terms of um, one to two nights in Dubai, it's really hard when it's one night because um, I guess depending on their flight times in and out of the destination, um, but I guess a lot of people, if they are only doing a one night stay, the opportunity is there depending on their flight time to sort of do the uh, desert um, safari in the afternoon. Uh, so depending whether, you know, what time of year it is in Dubai, the pickup time can be anywhere between 3.30, 4.30 in the afternoon and um, getting back to your hotel, you know, around the 10, 11 p.m. in the evening. So that's um, a great opportunity if they've only got that one night in Dubai. Um, and then in the morning they could, you know, take a, um, I guess, go have a, you know, half-day city tour or something like that, um, depending on their, their flight out. So that would be for you, like, your 24 hours. Your 48 hours in Dubai, uh, really just depends again if it's their, their first experience so if it is obviously their first time in Dubai then you know we would look at what I guess what interests them whether it's you know the adventure side um, whether it's the cultural side um, or if they're a family and that sort of thing if they want to visit you know Dubai parks and resorts or theme parks or you know wild body or aqua adventure water parks so um, we, we would really suggest to tailor make it to the individual rather than saying you know these are the top attractions in Dubai which may not always be of interest to everybody so um, yes you can see you know your your Burj Khalifa's um, you know the Burj Al Arab the um, Atlantis um, you know aquaventure water park and things like that and, and do your desert safaris which we know that 90% of the Australian market do that and we obviously recommend it to everybody to see to go and have that desert experience because it is quite unique um, and it is something that everybody raves about once they've done it. We have people that do it various times as well, um, depending on the, um, the DMC or tour operator that they're using at the time. Um, and it can be really sort of tailor-made as well. So if you've just to touch on the desert experience, if you've got anybody that um, has any like a disability or um, a lady that might be uh, pregnant or people that get motion sickness, anything like that, that don't actually want to do the dune bashing style of the desert safari, um, the actual DMC can actually arrange just to have um, them driven out to campsites so they can still actually enjoy um, that experience of um, dinner in the desert as well, rather than 
than doing the um, the dream bashing on also. So um, yeah, that would be my I guess tips for you know sending someone to Dubai for you know a two day stopover is really trying to find out what they want in terms of experiences. Um, you know some may want to spend a lot of time in Old Town Dubai and explore the El Fahidi district, which is quite stunning, and a lot of people don't get the time to do because they're seeing you know the skyline in itself. So. Yeah, I mean, I could talk all day on it, as you can tell, but um, that's just a couple of my my. Yeah, I think also just um, to add on the desert, um, there's a lot of different, it, you know, once you've done the desert once, it's not that you can't go back again. There's a lot of different de desert experiences. You have also overnight stays in the desert. You have the loon rides. Um, you have the traditional desert experiences as well, where you can have a, a cultural breakfast in the desert. Um, or, you know, there's also an experience where you can go out in the open top Land Rovers as well um, and see the, the beautiful wildlife out there and, and then go and experience the camp where you can actually see the traditional bread being made um, and, the, and you have the traditional food there and then traditional entertainment as well. So there's various experiences that keep getting added to to allow you to experience the desert in a different way. Fantastic. And Jane has asked um, how long it takes to do all the online training modules and can it be done in parts? Yep, it can definitely, Jane, be done in parts. So you can start and stop it at your own leisure as well, um, which is great. So um, each module can take around 15 uh, around 15 minutes. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your pace. So uh, not too long and it definitely keeps you interested, that's for sure, because it is a game. Um, but like I said, yeah, you can do it at your own leisure. So that's not a problem. Fantastic. And then a question from Louise who said that it's a great presentation. She's completed the Dubai learning module when it was previously presented. And so she's just wondering, is it continually updated? Is there more opportunities for her to keep learning? Yeah, there will be. Look, there are some further updates coming on Dubai Expert, which I'll be able to um, update you on next time as well. Um, there is uh, also works of it um, becoming a mobile um, version for any smartphone as well. So you can actually do that when, when you're on the train and things like that when you're commuting, which is great. So I'll definitely be sure to update you on that moving forward as well. Great. Sounds great. A question from Yvonne who is wondering if there's any particular times of year where there is a festival, like, for example, in uh, China, where there's the, in Asia, where there's the Chinese New Year, and a lot of the shops and restaurants close down. Is there any similar times over in Dubai that um, you would recommend not sending people during that, that time? Um, there's, there's no festivals that, that block the city um, from experiencing Dubai as such. Um, the only area that we get a lot of questions around is Ramadan, um, and, and that differs every year. Um, um, and for many people, going to Dubai and visiting Dubai during Ramadan is actually a really lovely cultural experience. Um, and it's just obviously understanding, you know, what is available and what is not. Often shops are open a lot later in that time um, and, you know, they can be past midnight, you know, when, when shops are open till. So the experiences tend to sort of, the opening hours tend to be a lot later um, in the day um, and shopping malls are open for a lot longer in many cases in that time as well. So R Ramadan is actually a lovely time, but there's no, there's, there's no period where I would say that there's a festival which, you know, blocks visitors coming to the city. In fact, the all, all the festivals that Dubai has enhances the, the destination experience. Great, Julie. Well, Avon says thank you. That was the last of our questions. Does anybody else have a question? Oh, good. Jane, there's a question from Jane. Okay. Are there any famous high tea afternoon teas held? Only yes. on certain days, and which ones would you recommend are the best? The, the, to oh be gosh. honest, there's so many beautiful afternoon teas in Dubai. I guess some of the iconic ones that um, many people, you know, always want to experience um, is certainly, um, you know, Burj Khalifa, um, which is a tall tower, um, and Burj Al Arab as well. But those are the ones if you. If, if visitors haven't experienced those, that's always a good option to do for the first time. But beyond that, you know, there's many, many of the hotels and the resorts that do beautiful afternoon teas. Um, you know, from examples of the palace downtown to, 
you know, the Royal, one and only Royal Mirage to many of the, the properties, they all offer, you know, some form of, you know, experience. Madinat Jumeirah as well does lovely afternoon tea. So yes, I mean, we can certainly, you know, if, if that's a topic of interest, you know, we can certainly delve into that in one of the sessions coming up. Also, um, just to touch on high teas as well, um, Julie, I thought I'd mention the um, brunches in Dubai, the Friday brunch. Yeah, um, yeah so Friday brunches in Dubai are very popular um, with not only um, tourists, but also um, the expats as well um, living in Dubai. So weekend in Dubai is Friday, Saturday. So the business week starts on the Sunday. Um, these brunches are all over uh, the city in terms of um, some beautiful hotel properties, um, you know, whether you want something on the beach, on the palm, downtown. Um, there is so many to choose from and it's hard to pick um, a favourite. So with the brunches, normally you would have like a four or five hour or so package, um, which includes your beverages and food. Um, some are alcoholic and um, if you don't want to drink, you can have the non-alcoholic package as well. But um, the food is phenomenal. There's so many different cuisines available um, and it just is a, a, a nice way to spend an afternoon to start the weekend as well. Absolutely. Wonderful. Well, I've had a few people um, either join late or would like to have a copy of this webinar to share with their colleagues. So I'll just reiterate that this webinar has been recorded and will be put on the AFTER website so that you can re-watch it or share it. Thank you. And is there any, is there any topics that have come up, Joe, in terms of interest areas for, for what people would like to see for the next webinar? You know, is it, you know, for example, Dubai for families or um, Dubai for cultural seekers or adventure. Is there a segment that um, any of the audience currently online would like to see us talk about more in the next webinar or the next webinars? Oh, Yvonne has said cruise. Okay, we can we can sure. into that. And Sandy said, I'd like more information on each areas on the webinar on the. Oh, I should like more information on each areas on the webinar. So, Sandy, uh, just type it, type in there, but perhaps you're asking us to delve even further into some of the topics addressed today. Or is it, are we talking about sort of whether it's downtown or, you know, the yeah. old town? Oh, sorry. And, uh, yes, the areas of the city, Julie, she's clarified. Okay. Uh, we, we've got, this is great, guys. Keep typing them because we'll take, be able to take these offline as well and, and share them. Uh, we've got Dubai for shopping. Right. Uh, details on 24-hour hotels. Right. And downtown. Just so you know, as well. And perhaps areas for first timers to Dubai. Best areas right. for all visitors to stay if it's their first time. Is, is there any interest around um, Dubai for adventure, Dubai for gastronomy, Dubai for culture? Would these in, in areas be of interest as well moving forward for us to dive deeper into that for everyone? Um, would you prefer us to also look into, you know, more segments, you know, that might appeal to your customers? Um, you know, because really Dubai as a destination is you you can have a, an absolutely new experience every time so i always say it's a new destination every time you visit because it's always changing and there's always so much to see and you know if you've been once there's certainly you know many many reasons to keep returning because there is so much on offer and we're getting some really great uh, ideas come through so ideas for families and teenagers um Wonderful. chris said culture would be great Amy's quite keen to delve more into Ramadan to know more about the culture and what happens at that time. Yes. Day trips from Dubai, so heading out of the city, what can be done. Great. And even ideas for low-budget travellers in Dubai. Excellent. Great ideas. We can certainly do that. Thanks for the ideas, guys. That's fantastic. And, Julia, are we thinking we'll run another educational webinar about two weeks' time? Absolutely. We can do it in two weeks' time um, and we'll start looking at um, what is the more popular um, choices within the suggestions and we'll start with that one 
and we'll run them um, every two weeks, you know, to cover as many subjects as, as you know, we can do for you. Fantastic. As well. Also, just to touch on that as well, we'll also um, cover and talk about um, the uh, Dubai Expo as well, because um, as you're all aware, it's, it's been postponed until next year and um, the new dates for that are from uh, the 1st of October 2021 through to the 31st of March 2022 as well. So we'll be able to update you moving forward um, on the Expo also. Sounds great. Well, from AFTA's perspective, we will um, be sure to let you all know when our next webinar is so that you can register and we can, uh, and join us as we deep dive into these very interesting topics. Well, that's our questions today. I haven't got any others coming through, but really appreciate all the, the comments that have come through on what you'd like to cover. Thank you. Thank you for your time today. Thanks, everybody. We'll Thanks, put everybody. this webinar online for you to uh, watch later today. Bye for now. Bye-bye.